Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today, I'm going to be going over a subject that I am pretty passionate about, I'd say. And this is something I've been passionate about for a while. And that is that first time user experience, which if you didn't know, that's what FTUE stands for. First time user experience is slowly but surely making the game worse. Now, obviously this doesn't affect most players. It doesn't affect me, really. It doesn't affect anyone who's been playing the game for a long standing time. What it does affect is new players. And I think, listen, I can just, here, I can I can try to show you it a bit. Um, but now that we know what you are, remember if you ever. All right, then. I keep going. Okay, I keep going, right? I press play. Well, hello. This tutorial, this tutorial's been here for forever. There you go. Okay. Merle Ambrose, here we are. Now, the main The main thing of this video that I want to point out is this. Welcome to Unicorn Way. There are creatures here who will attack you if you Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, if you're wondering what I'm talking about and what I'm trying to point out here, is this did not exist when I played the game, and it didn't exist even two years ago. Now, there'll be people who would be like, eh, you just don't like change. No, that's not it, right? What I hate is them remodeling Unicorn Way, and also there are plans for future updates to remodel some of Firekid Alley to make the first time user experience more player friendly. Now what they mean by player friendly is they mean not only easier, but they mean it directly points out specific stuff that makes the game easier. Now I want to say why this annoys me, and I need to turn this music down slightly because it's a little bit too loud, there we go. Why this annoys me so much and why I really wish that they didn't do this. When I first get into a game, there's nothing that annoys me more than I feel like my hand is being held entirely through it. Yes, I'm fine with like small hints on the left side of the screen or whatever that say, this is this, right? And that's what they used to do. They used to give you these things called tutorial tips on the right side, and they still do give you tutorial tips. It's just now they force it down your throat, the main features. Now you may be like, no, why does this annoy you so much? You shouldn't even care. What annoys me the most is that children and not just children, like, I mean, but mostly children is what this game's aimed towards, are not dumb. They're not stupid, despite what you may think. Even at, you know, five, six years old when I first started playing this game, I didn't have any problems with stuff like don't walk into the ghastly ghouls because that are in the middle of the road, use the sidewalk. Because that's common sense. Talk to people with question marks above their head, follow the quest helper. Wow, that's so difficult. And with, as a kid, I would not have known that unless you directly told me like they've added. And this thing, this is just one of the things that, like, annoys me fundamentally, because it's... I personally think that they're making their game worse for new players by changing this. Now, I probably wouldn't have said anything in the past, and I wouldn't have said anything now, um, because they've already done it, whatever. It's already like this, they're not going to change it back. I know to give up, right? But I've heard that in the new summer update... They're adding more first-time user experience additions to the game that involve Fire Cat Alley and all that stuff. And that fundamentally annoys me because what I don't want is I don't want them to change fundamentally Wizard City for first-time users. And they've already kind of done that when they remodeled the streets, right? Like Electric Eels and Triton Avenue, those didn't used to exist. You used to have to f uh, save Arter, uh, Arter Griffin Bane uh, with the help of Susie, do all that stuff, right? Now, I'd like to say, I don't mind changes that make it more player friendly. I don't mind them upping drop rates. I don't mind them doing something like moving Duncan Grimwater so he's next to Arter and Triton Avenue so they're convenient and in a location that can help. That doesn't bother me. What bothers me is when they act like you are a 
basically a rock and they have to explain to the dumbest thing ever how to do it now i know that some people are going to have trouble figuring it out if you're really not smart or if you just have difficulty playing some games but even i think even the stupidest person on this planet would understand this quest helper pointing you a large at the bottom of the screen in the direction of someone that has a question mark over their head right that's not something that's difficult to understand someone having an exclamation mark over their head not difficult to understand and if it is difficult to understand guess what they have this thing right here called help and it tells you right here all this stuff so why is it that whenever I create a new character I have to go through all of this dialogue in the beginning um, and, and I'd like to say by the way this is that wasn't it look you can see right here Gamma's giving you more and telling you more stuff it just fundamentally annoys me because I think it makes the game worse overall it makes it so that it feels like not only are they holding your hand but they're babying you and it's dialogue that you really don't want to listen to and that just fundamentally annoys me now I was thinking of what videos to record and how I came to this uh, conclusion was two things one I saw in the Atmoplex Twitter that he said that that's what the new updates about and second I was questing a little bit on the storm wizard I have and it's just it, it annoys me because it makes me think that King's Isle thinks of their player base as brain dead little children when a majority of their player base is either children that aren't brain dead because most children aren't brain dead or adults that don't need this that's why it was optional to begin with why the why to begin with all of this tutorial would be shown on the right side in tutorial tips because they didn't need to shove it down your throat because a lot of people it was common sense or they understood and that's really all i wanted to say uh, it's just because it annoys me fundamentally and i don't know if you guys agree with me i would like to hear that in the comments do you agree with me do you disagree with me i want to know um and it's really i i just wanted to um you know talk about this because i am not looking forward to changes that could potentially make the game worse in my opinion so thank you all for watching if you enjoyed or if you agree drop a like at the sub button um i'm happy to be back in wizard 101 uh playing it you know it is exciting so so i'm excited um yeah thank you all for watching see you in the next video adios